Okay, welcome back to this Spotlight series. Now we're going to be looking at the log normal distribution. The log normal distribution always takes a value uh, greater than zero. It's good for costs, relative risks, odds ratios, and rates, so you'll often end up using it within your model. And it has two parameters, mu and sigma. And they are just like the mu and sigma in a normal distribution um, because <clears throat> If you take the log of a log normal distributed variable, it has the normal distribution. So if we look at this graph on the right, you'll see I've got uh, three different curves being shown with different values of mu and sigma. If sigma is higher, uh, such as in this light blue curve, then you get a more dispersed curve. If you want to use a log normal distribution and you know the mean and the variance that you're aiming to use, then these equations here at the bottom use the method of moments to calculate what mu and sigma squared should be. Uh, so you might find those handy. As I mentioned, the log normal distribution is often useful for relative risks and odds ratios. So if we have the contingency table as shown on the right here, so this column is people who are exposed to some treatment, this column is people who aren't exposed, and then in this row it's the number of people who have the event of interest, and in this row it's the people who don't have the event of interest. The log odds ratio and the log relative risk are approximately normal, so that means you can model the odds ratio or the relative risk with a log normal um, distribution. And the formulas for these are quite nice in terms of what the standard error or the sigma parameter is going to be just in terms of that contingency table. And when it comes to implementing them in Excel and R, Pretty simple stuff on the probabilistic front for Excel. You're going to use the log norm dot inv function, and then as we've seen before, you pass in a random number between zero and one, and the parameters for your distribution. Incidentally, if you want to get back the mean uh, from this distribution, you can't just do um, exp of the mu parameter. You have to account for the fact that it's a it's a skewed distribution. So you also have to add this sigma, square it, and divide it by two um, before you take the exponential of that. And in R, um, the you use the RL norm function. The first argument is the number of random variates you want out, and then it's the mu and the sigma parameters.